what is mTOR in the simplest version that you could explain? <laughs> yeah, well, in the simplest w way, I can say it's the growth switch in the body that uh, promotes uh, growth of all cells, whether that be muscle cells, uh, nerve cells, immune cells, and uh, even some cancer cells, as well as, uh, you know, uh, fat cells in some cases as well. So it's like an all-encompassing uh, growth uh, switch. And uh, mTOR in small amounts and in the right dose is great because it's, again, useful for muscle building and muscle maintenance. So without mTOR, you would die because, yeah, you know, you would just <laughs> wither away eventually. Uh, but if your mTOR is, you know, chronically activated and it's expressed in excess, then that can also cause some uh, you know, disease, uh, like, for example, a good sign of too much mTOR activation is acne and skin problems uh, because uh, it's related to IGF-1 as well. So, uh, you know, some form of uh, higher blood sugar, diabetes, that can cause, that can be a result from uh, too much mTOR. And, uh, and, you know, the worst case scenario is some cancers and malignancies because, because of the same, like, uh, growth-promoting uh, aspect. 